Hey guys, it's Maximum X Game Out bringing you another video. This time it's a review for the new Attack Armored Batpod, the officially licensed release for The Dark Knight Rises, and it's made by a company called Quick Tech. And Mattel, let's quick look at what you get inside, which is the figure itself, the armor, Batpod, and the missile. Anyway, before we have a quick look at that, I just wanted to quickly show you some of the other releases from previous films, uh, such as the Night Cycle from The Dark Knight, and before that, you had the Armored Speed Bike from Batman Begins. Now, as you may remember, first film, the motorbike wasn't seen, and uh, it was just all about the tumbler and in the second one we had a glimpse of the bat pod but these are the motorcycles more to do with the franchise but they were officially released and as you can see i didn't open them just part of the collection they both of them very similar in design we both had projectiles not sound but definitely worth having as part of a collection going back to the original toy the one we're looking at today is the attack armored bat pod once we get it out of the box this one was a bit more tricky each thing was stuck separately this is the armor plating which goes on top of the actual bike and I think they've been quite clever with this design this is the Batman figure that comes with the bat pod and as you can see it's quite detailed exactly the same as if you buy it on its own it's already positioned as if it would sit on a bike but you can use it as an individual figure so that's always good there is a lot of detail inside this figure moving on this thing or this goes at the top of the bike at first i thought it was going to be this gray projectile but then i realized it's the the orange one i assume at some point during the film you will see this in action as i said it's the orange projectile which simulates a rocket anyway putting these little bits aside have a closer look at the actual bike itself now once you've placed the batman on the bike it fits in seamlessly now it is plastic but the quality is quite excellent I don't know why they've chosen to go with the grey scheme grey and black scheme I would have preferred it if it was all all black it just looks more like a toy because of the colour from the pictures that I've seen from the film the bat pod is still all black moving on to the actual shield itself as you can see it's uh, designed to fit at the back of the bat pod I think they've been quite clever with this design I, I really like how they've it's almost like a transformers you attach the armor at the back of the bike as you can see there is square fitting and they would just slot into there it is a bit tricky actually to click on so you just have to peel back the armor before it goes on top so if you just pull back the attachments you should be able to click on the arm. Um, they all click into place, so now they're all block boxed in. So as I mentioned earlier, that square lines up with the square on the bike, and you just clicks in like so. Once you have the armor on top, it does look quite cool. Now it's the time for the missile launcher which fits right at the top again if it was all in black it would have been so much better or even gold but they chose to go with grey once the rocket is attached you can click it back into place much easier um, armor doesn't actually impede the way you use it. it actually makes it slightly more sturdy it does look good it's very cleverly designed So I'll quickly show you how you would activate the actual armor itself. So the rocket now doubles as a, like an engine. So let me just quickly show you how you would activate the the armor. You have to mind your fingers. As soon as you press or activate the armor, you have to move your fingers out of the way quickly. I think it's a really good design. I like the way that they've incorporated two things into one. And it does make it an excellent toy. I'm glad that they've upgraded the bat pod to reflect the actual bike in the film rather than the ones like i showed you at the beginning from previous releases where they just look like normal motorbikes 
so this one I'm happy that it reflects the bike you actually see in the film the only downside is the grey scheme which I would have preferred it if it was black that's the only letdown otherwise the design the look the feel is excellent very sturdy brilliant idea and it's something different well I hope you liked this review if you are thinking of buying it it's definitely recommended if you like what you saw please subscribe and give it a thumbs up this was Maximum X Gamer signing out.